I know that I've known it for years that that's something in the equipment that's on me is the ability predominantly through words that people if they hear those words and believe them can go to the place that I'm going and this is just the beginning I'm telling you The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight, I'm going to be more directly speaking a message to those who are joined up with us here people who have heard the word of the Lord and are joined up with this ministry and this message say this ministry, this ministry. and this message, this message of the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today yes. and us walking with him yes. in the earth today yeah. and for those planning to join up with us if you've come to hear the truth meaning you've heard the truth you've heard messages from this ministry before and it resonates with you that this is the truth say this is the truth, this is the truth. something goes off on the inside of you and says that's for me mm -hmm. that's what happens you understand you hear something you hear the truth and you go that's for me mm -hmm. well we're going on and in order to go on it requires certain things of you what yes it requires certain things of you how does that surprise you we're going on and for you to go on you're gonna be required to something that's what I'm gonna talk about tonight and I get it this is a little bit different I'm a little bit different but if you've heard and you've begun listening and saying that's for me then you're a little bit different too yes. get used to it mm -hmm. but the words I speak and especially words I'm speaking tonight carry a little bit different weight to them can you hear it yes. there's something you can hear in it that sounds a little bit different it's a little bit heavier mm -hmm. say it's heavier. it's heavier and those words are designed by God to take you someplace someplace you weren't before mm -hmm. this isn't too difficult if you're gonna go on something's gonna be required of you to go to a place that you haven't been before and a lot of you here have already began begun moving in that direction especially if you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost you have begun in a direction that will take you someplace that other people can't go Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on who goes on us say I'm going on well if you're going on it will require something of you let us go on unto what perfection. perfection and this we will do if God permit we we will do what we will go on yes. and so he gives you a little list here of things you must do you must be once enlightened right yes. tasted of the heavenly gift meaning using your tongue and we're made partakers or partners with the Holy Ghost yes. are you here yes. so those that are going on must pay certain prices say pay, pay. Certain, certain prices, prices. And the number one price that I'm going to talk about tonight I hope you're here is belief you must believe certain things you are not allowed to go to this place I'm talking about if you don't believe certain things say believe, believe. Certain, things. certain things belief is your key to enter I'm talking about the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today you must believe that he is that or you can't go to where that takes you yeah. right? right so I'll talk more about this at length tonight belief say belief, belief. But I know of nowhere else where you can hear this message. Are you here? 
I'm gonna talk a lot about this you know you believe certain things here that you don't believe other places or at least they don't talk about it right, right? Mm -hmm. and it's certainly not their number one belief because if it was they would be talking about it mm -hmm. are you ready for this because yeah. I'm gonna say some things and you have to believe the things to go where we're going and I know of nowhere else and I've been around a while I'm not a novice I, I know of nowhere else where you can hear this message mm -hmm. thoroughly scriptural painfully obvious mm -hmm. this message it becomes painfully obvious when you when you when you embrace this belief that we're talking about that other people aren't there mm -hmm. thoroughly scriptural painfully obvious but not preached may be alluded to somewhere a glimmer through some partial part of a sermon they may allude to the things we're saying but it's not preached you know what I'm saying is true how can they the people believe if it's not preached Romans 10 14 says how can they believe without a preacher if they're not preaching these things how can they then believe it mm -hmm. say the number one thing is belief how can they get that number one thing if it's not being preached they can't and therefore they can't go here there's a lot of preachers out there do you know there's a lot of preachers out there and they all preach and I'm not saying anything against them they're all preaching the things they know but I will qualify that they they all preach the things they know within the doctrine that they've embraced so everything they know if it doesn't fit into that doctrine they don't preach it they don't touch it because frankly they'll get kicked out of their church or whatever denomination they're in are they called to preach yes I'm not saying they aren't called to preach they're called to preach but are they called to take you to a place not necessarily they might just be preaching preaching the things that belong in their church to keep you in that place in the church but they're not called to take you somewhere this message is called to take you somewhere I'm called to take you somewhere I'm not only called to preach this is different say this is different this is, different. is this not different yes, I'm trying to tell you it's different well, that's why I said people might not understand what I'm talking about or not but if they hang on they'll get it say if they hang on they'll get it it takes a while I'm not only called to preach I am called to take you some place a place where they don't even know about are you ready for this can you hear it those words if you hear them they start to move you in that direction I'm called to take you someplace a place they don't know about I am a carrier of something now that's different than just preaching called preachers can get up and preach but they're not necessarily gifted with a message to take you somewhere now what I just said requires a certain amount of belief Jesus remember in his hometown of Nazareth he said a whole bunch of things to them and what did they do they didn't like it they wanted to kill him they tried to kill him what was required of them in order to receive what he was saying belief mark chapter 6 verse 5 and he could there say there yes. he could there do no mighty work he could there do no he could do no nothing he couldn't do anything why was it because they didn't believe who he was they didn't believe they didn't they heard it they heard the anointing they say they heard the anointing they, the anointing. they knew something was sounding different mm -hmm. but they couldn't take what he was saying and they rejected it and they couldn't believe it are you ready for this mm -hmm. I require belief if you're gonna get 
what I'm saying and the things that I'm saying I'm not just getting up here and giving you a little talk I require belief and it requires belief for you to go where I'm talking about some of you are getting it some are buddy some people are like uh, I don't want to go there if I have belief I can go farther now I'm not a novice in this I know it when I have a group of people in the room that believe believe in the things I say believe that I'm anointed believe I'm called believe I have a message from God then I can go farther with those people that if I'm in here combating everybody the whole time trying to spoon feed them something trying to lay another foundation because they don't have it straight are you here that's why I said this message is gonna be different and it's more for people who are on board and it might even be a chore for you this is what I'm saying you got to believe you got to stretch your belief you got to be willing to believe that you can go someplace you haven't been before say I can go someplace I haven't been before that's going on that's moving on I know we don't think we're perfect yet right so we have to go on if I have belief I can go farther I can go farther faster I have the ability to take you where I am going I know that I've known it for years that that's something in the equipment that's on me is the ability predominantly through words that people if they hear those words and believe them can go to the place that I'm going and this is just the beginning I'm telling you and I'm not tooting my own horn although I was started thinking about that if it's my horn <laughs> I should be able to toot it what good is a horn if you can't toot it so I guess I am tooting my own horn but you know what that means I'm not sitting here trying to brag my, upon myself I'm I'm trying to get you into belief and therefore I'm gonna say some things say so he's gonna say some things to get you into belief so we can go someplace we haven't been before are you all right with this you're tooting your own horn well get used to it I'm gonna be tooting for a while I'm not a novice I've been around a while I've been in a lot of different circles that's how I can say I know of nowhere else that this message is being preached right now how do I know because I was there and I'm here where I am by paying prices I know that you don't like it but I know it people that know me know that I've been paying prices Ooh, what kind of prices spiritual prices so I'm really not trying to I'm not trying to puff up myself I'm, I'm literally trying to give you the straight truth so that you can have belief Amen. if this message is true and what you're saying is true and it sounds profound and real why isn't everybody preaching it why you and I'm like so let me address this <laughs> I used to think yeah why me say used to. used to I'm just like everybody else I'm thinking this I'm just like everybody but then why me well I'm just like everybody else but maybe not say maybe not, maybe not. What I thought was normal growing up for me, because you understand what I'm going through, I'm figuring everybody else is going through. Does this make sense? Why wouldn't they be? I'm just growing up, I'm a person. All the things that are happening to me, they must be happening to everybody else. So, what I thought was normal wasn't really that common. And I'm going to share a few things. Are you here? I'm going to share a few things with you of how I got here into this position and help you to believe so as a very now I'm not gonna go through my whole at some point I've often thought that I will go through take a couple messages and just go through my whole testimony though when I was very very young I was saved from drowning in Florida almost drowned 
everybody on the boat was like looking for me and they thought I was gone but I was saved are you here I'm gonna say it anyway I was saved from drowning by an angel I can literally close my eyes and see him right now my grandmother who was her husband that's with the houseboat that we were on she said after that experience she said oh he must be called to something and my parents went on, went on about saying I must be called for something and they you know they said that when I was drowning they, they said oh God save him we'll we'll let him you know be yours if if you save him this is part of my horn and I'm going to blow on it and toot it okay should I be ashamed of that no. should I somehow go that I should be ashamed of that and I shouldn't mention it no. are you kidding me I'm gonna tell it then a few years later I want to say I was around 12 say around 12. around 12 and I had just gotten a new drum set that was my thing I wanted to be a studio musician and and I was you know pretty good at it and I had a new drum set and I was sitting on my bed in my bedroom looking at the drum set and lo and behold I'm not saved I'm just a kid it's just a kid looking at a drum set say he's just a kid looking at a drum set what do you know I'm thinking oh that's great uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to play that really well the Spirit of the Lord came in my room are you here yep. the Spirit of the Lord came in my room and he said one of these days you're gonna have to choose between me and those you know what I said do I have to choose now because I just got them right you know do I have to choose now 12 years old Spirit of the Lord came in my room said I had to make a choice are you here these are things that I thought was just common this is what I thought everybody the way everybody lived are you here yes. a few years later I had a vision of two Jesuses say two Jesuses I knew one was real I knew one was fake and I knew sometimes you know these things when you're in a vision you know what the whole vision is it just drops in you what it's all about and I knew that there were people serving a fake Jesus people serving a real Jesus and I had to be going with the real Jesus right yes. doesn't everybody have these things happen I thought this was common I thought this was normal when you go and you talk to people this is not how they were brought up but I didn't know any better I didn't know any different I'm just a stupid kid but I know now this is not common is it no. am I supposed to be ashamed of it am I supposed to say oh it's common everybody no it didn't it just didn't you go talk to person after person and people that are even in the ministry are you here yeah. And I could share many many other things but I think you get the point then at around 17 I got saved and then I received the Holy Ghost and began speaking in other tongues and I began speaking in tongues I committed to speak in tongues for an hour a day say an hour a day, an hour a day. how many people you know doing that I was doing that at 17 and then I got a hold of a, a book by Charles Capps called God's Creative Power. A lot of people look it up, go get it. And in that, he lists a whole bunch of confessions. Say a whole bunch of confessions. And I did those three times a day. I did them in the morning, I did them in the afternoon, and I did them in the evening. At 17 years old, praying an hour a day in other tongues. And I listened to tape after tape of faith preacher faith preacher I literally I went down and visited my grandmother at one point and I had I had a small suitcase with some clothes in it hopefully some socks and underwear I don't really remember now the other larger suitcase was full of cassette tapes I was paying prices and I've been paying prices how old am I now 55 one day not too long ago I was going on a walk say he was going on a walk you know what I'm talking about I go on a walk and because I'm by myself going on a walk I'm praying in other tongues 
and an angel blew in my ear with a message that was an answer to many things I'd been praying because I was praying about people not receiving things from God until they get to heaven they put everything off till heaven healings in heaven youth renewals in heaven prosperity is in heaven this is what I was praying about and the angel blew in my ear and put a message in me and he said it's because their Lord is in heaven and that right there set me on this trajectory that I'm on now because yes Jesus is in heaven but he sent another to be with us in the earth later on an angel came and said to me use the words I worship you Holy Ghost say use the words, use the words. I worship you Holy Ghost now if I'm gonna use them I'm gonna use them personally and I'm gonna use them in the ministry you'll hear me say them a lot why is that because I'm using them in the ministry because those words listen those words will take you someplace and I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision I use them personally daily and I use them in the ministry first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 says that we are given the manifestation of the Spirit for profit or to profit with well that was a manifestation of the Spirit and we're able to profit with it if, if you can hear that you can have it use the words I worship you Holy Ghost I will profit by it I'm profiting by it now and I'm gonna continue to do so you know we answered we're trying to answer the question well why me well why not them I'll tell you why not them they were unwilling to go here they didn't pay this price do you understand there's prices you pay to go certain places you have to pay this price I paid the price of belief in the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today thankfully by the help of an angel giving me the specific words to say that take me there they didn't pay this price and they wouldn't go here is this fun yet this is different isn't it they wouldn't go here when the Holy Ghost says this or when the Holy Ghost says say this right we're preachers when the Holy Ghost says say this they wouldn't say it Jesus won't do anything for you if the Spirit of God tells a preacher to say that and they won't say it they can't go there Jesus can't do anything for you why he's not here he sent the Holy Ghost he's saying you know if you don't like that you're not gonna be able to go here the Bible does say that Jesus will intercede what's intercede mean he said he will pray the Father let's go look at that John chapter 14 verse 16 and I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter what does the Bible specifically say that Jesus is going to intercede for you for that you would receive the comforter it didn't say he's gonna come do anything can't won't he sent the Holy Ghost and then he intercedes that you would receive are you here yes. we have a specific reference of what Jesus said he's going to intercede about and pray about he says I will pray the Father and he will give you another comforter that he say he he, he will abide with you Jesus is going to intercede and pray that you would receive the Holy Ghost and that he would abide with you yes. who is going to abide with you Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost he's praying that you receive this message mm -hmm. who's the one abiding with you Holy Ghost not Jesus I will pray the Father and he will give you another that he would abide with you the Holy Ghost is the one abiding with you 
do you think you need some intercession over that i think maybe some people do so the holy ghost is the one abiding with you who is god in the earth today the holy ghost is god in the earth today and people would say you're putting too much emphasis on the holy ghost jesus put emphasis on the holy ghost and said he was going to abide with you yes. how can i put too much emphasis is he god <laughs> he is god oh you're putting too much emphasis on god first corinthians chapter 6 in verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost who is in you therefore glorify God in your body who did he say was in your body Holy Ghost Holy Ghost is God he's with you he's the one that's with you in the earth he would say to you that I must have belief can you see that can you understand that he's God he must have belief if you don't believe this about him that he is God that he is in your body that he is in the earth then you can't go here you're believing something else Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 but without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God mm -hmm. must what must yes. believe mm -hmm. without belief it's impossible with belief all things are possible mm -hmm. belief is what opens the door for you belief in what belief in the Holy Ghost that he's in the earth that he's the one Jesus sent that he's with you and he's the one you're walking with without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God must believe that he is who is Holy Ghost is mm -hmm. believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him well, the Holy Ghost says I must have belief go to uh, John John chapter 6 verse 28 then said they unto him what shall we do that we might work the works of God and Jesus answered and said unto them this is the work of God that you believe on him whom he has sent the Holy Ghost is the one that he has sent who did Jesus send the Holy Ghost who is with us the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. who do we believe the Holy, the Holy Ghost and that he's a rewarder of us yes. are you here the Holy Ghost must have belief listen you can't worship him the Holy Ghost and not be changed your doctrine will change I'm telling you who's telling you this I'm telling you this I am a sent one with a message I've brought you listen I've brought you to a new reality a new thinking a new believing and a new living if you go here if you believe it you got to hear and you got to go here it's a reality not revealed until this last day listen I'm in this last day are you here yes why you I'm in this last day and I am given this manifestation of the Spirit to profit with for you if you can hear it and for me because I'm going there yes. a new revelation of the Holy Ghost say a new revelation of the Holy Ghost, new revelation of the Holy Ghost. is this not a new revelation of the Holy Ghost yes. a new position shall you be in with the Holy Ghost when you go here yes healing yes prosperity yes youth renewal but so much more say so much more, so much more. how can this be scriptural people say that how can this be scriptural the problem is you think you know everything about the scriptures and the Holy Ghost you know next to nothing have you ever met the Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. 
you start to know him he knows everything your little knowledge about his scriptures and who he is is next to nothing but the way forward is belief I'm called to take you there the words I say will take you there if you agree with me by saying the same thing you shall be translated from one thing to the next to the next to the next and we'll go on the words I've given you tonight will take you there they will change you they will transform you from one thing to the next and you'll begin to worship the Holy Ghost and walk with him by saying words in the earth we are going to be changed and if you hook up with me saying the same thing that I'm saying I will take you to a new place that you've never been before a lot of people have never heard a message like this but you can see that it requires belief on your behalf I believe it I'm preaching it you have to believe it in order to go there first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy who are we supposed to trust in the living God who is the living God he is the Holy Ghost where is the Holy Ghost he's in the earth we're in the earth he's in us he's in the earth today charge them that are rich in this that they that they trust in the Holy Ghost the living God God in the earth today if he's God in the earth today and you're using the words I worship you Holy Ghost you're worshiping God in the earth today and I recommend you do this walk the floor and say I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost you are the living God you give me richly all things to enjoy I worship you Holy Ghost living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost living God gives me richly all things to enjoy what am I doing I'm worshiping him and I'm walking with him in the earth and he's able he's been enabled to give me richly all things yes. how many more things do I need none more all things he the Holy Ghost the Living God God in the earth today is giving me richly all things to enjoy if you agree with me and you do these things he will get involved in your situation and give you richly all things to enjoy believe that let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people have heard many have been weeded out but many says the Spirit of the Lord are being called up these words have gone into their ears and caused a change on the inside of them and they're beginning to move out and they will never be the same I worship you Holy Ghost I thank you for it in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today I thank you that you're multiplying my finances and I have more than more than enough to do all the things that I need to do and to be richly provided for and enjoy it I thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right God in the earth today.